All right, in this video, I want to talk about how to solve uh, for density and mass and volume uh, in, a, in a problem. So uh, density is uh, equal to the mass of an object over its volume, basically. Mass divided by its volume. And it's all abbreviated by density equals mass m over v. D equals m over v. Easy way to remember this is D equals a heart. Draw a line through it. M for mass. V for volume. Easiest way to remember that. Or at least it works for me. Now, you can uh, just use this, this problem here, but I like to take it one step uh, further. Anytime I'm given uh, a uh, problem or a formula and it has um, division in it, mass over volume, I always cross multiply. Uh, I'll remember this formula, but I know that I anytime I see division in a formula, or an equation, I have to cross multiply to have to be able to solve for every um, independent in this this formula. So if I want to solve for volume, for instance, um, I'm going to make this density over one, and I'm going to have dense. I'm going to cross multiply this over there, this right there. I'm going to have density times volume equals mass. And now I have it in, in kind of a safe place mathematically, perhaps you can think of it, because I know if I just want to solve for mass, I can just divide volume over here, and I'm back to my original formula, uh, or I can have, if I want to solve, this would cancel out, if I want to solve for uh, density, um, or I'm sorry, if I want to solve for volume itself, I can divide density by both sides and I've got volume equals mass over density um, or if I want to solve for mass I can just start with what I'm given I, whenever I cross multiply density times volume equals mass so I really like to cross multiply once I I get my formula uh, written out that way I just kind of uh, have it in a safe mathematical place uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and solve some problems uh, with density equals mass over volume. All right, so let me scroll on down here. And we have a problem here. A 747, let me scroll down just a little. A 747, is, uh, a 747 jet is fueled with 173,231 uh, liters of jet fuel if the density of the fuel is 0.78 grams per milliliter, what is the mass of the fuel in kilograms? So a few different things are kind of throwing at us here. They're saying a jet is has uh, you know 173,231 liters, important observation there, liters of jet fuel. If the density, uh, density, they're saying um, of the fuel is uh, 0.78 grams per milliliter. Uh, what is the mass of the fuel in kilograms? So they're saying we put this many liters into it. This is the density of it. What's the mass now? And on top of, we don't just want to know the mass. We want to know what the mass is in kilograms. So they're giving us liters here, right? First thing, um, or at least one thing we know we're going to have to do is uh, convert liters in this problem to milliliters. We could convert um, the density from grams per milliliter to you know grams per liter or really even uh, kilograms per liter uh, but I think that would almost be um, a harder way or take longer to do the problem especially if you're just getting started out uh, with chemistry and dimensional analysis, but I just wanted to mention that because you can do um, it that way, but I think it, at least intuitively um, wise in, in the beginning here, um, it's probably better to 
go from liters to milliliters and then take our final answer which will be in grams and convert that to kilograms. So that's how I'm going to show doing the problem and I think that's the easier way for a beginner uh, who is probably watching this video. But if you're thinking ahead or outside of the box you can go about the problem that way as well. So let's start out. 173 231 liters and we want to go to milliliters. So we know that I don't know why that gets fat sometimes. We know that for every one liter one liter there is 1,000 milliliters or 1 times 10 to the third uh, power milliliters. That's going to give us an answer in blank milliliters because liters going to cancel out. We're going to be left with milliliters. So grab our trusty calculator here. And we have 173, 231 divided by, or I'm sorry, times 1,000. And it basically adds three zeros to it. So 100, and you know, I'm going to put this in scientific notation just for simplistic's sake. So we have 1.73. Uh, two three one times ten to the one two three four five six seven eight right is that right one two three four five six seven eight or one two three four five six seven eight yep eight all right um milliliters. All right, so we have 1.73231 times 10 to the 8 uh, milliliters. Um, now uh, we just need to figure out our mass. Now we're in the right units to be able to figure out our mass. We just need to keep in the back of our mind that it's going to give it to us in grams and we need to have kilograms. So let's do our problem here. We have density equals heart draw a line through it, mass over volume, right? Density equals mass over volume. We're going to rewrite that by cross multiplying over one, cross multiplying to density times volume equals mass. All right, and which uh, we lucked out. That's, we don't have to go any further. Uh, the problem is asking us for mass. So density times volume is going to equal mass. So we know this is our volume, it's in milliliters, and they give us our density. So let's go ahead and start with our density, 0.768 grams per milliliters times our volume. Our volume is in pink. Let me go back to pink here. 1.73231 times 10 to the 8th milliliters and that's going to equal I've got it already in there from the previous problem times point seven six eight that's going to equal uh, 130 let's see here 133 million um, I count too many zeros? No, nope, three zeros. Yeah, 133,041,408. So, 1, 33, um, 0, 0, 0, 0, 408. Milliliters here are going to cancel out. And we're going to be left with grams, so that's that in grams. Now we just need to go to kilograms, right? Because the final problem asked for it and they wanted it in kilograms. So we need to give them the answer in kilograms. We know that for every one kilogram, 
I have 1,000 grams. My grams are going to cancel out. How many left with kilograms? Let me draw that a little bit better. You left with kilograms. Grab the calculator, divide this by 1,000. Three zeros, 1,000. And we have, uh, what is that? 133,041. Kilograms, right? Kilograms. And our final uh, problem, we have three significant figures here uh, and, what, six there. So our final problem needs to have three significant figures. So we can even put this in scientific notation, put 1.33 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yep, times 10 to the 5 kilograms. And that's our answer. Um, so I don't really have time for any more in this video, but I'll probably do a video working through some more of these. Um, it's basically uh, just a whole lot more of the same, where if you want to solve for volume instead of mass, you're just going to divide the density here by the mass. Um, so if we wanted to find the um, volume of this here, we would just divide the density uh, of 0.768 grams divided by the mass, and we would actually do it in our first answer over here, which was in uh, grams, this right here. That would give us the density um, of this, which they already gave us. Um, so you can kind of see where you can just mix and match with this um, and get the same answers. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that helped.